All right, thanks for watching. Today's Wednesday, March 31st. It's a big idea Wednesday where I just like to take an idea, throw it out there. An idea that may help you understand yourself or the world a little bit better. But first, flame on. Thanks everyone for liking and sharing. If you stumbled upon this video, consider yourself very lucky because my videos never get recommended. So you can, might consider subscribing. There we go. But today we're talking about shopping cart theory. Now this originally went viral a year ago, I think in May. I've seen it many times on 4chan, anonymous message boards, posted as memes, things like that. But what it is, is a very simple test to determine what type of person you are. Kind of like a BuzzFeed quiz, if you will. But this is, how do you deal with the shopping cart? So here's the original meme as it was posted last May. The shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. To return the shopping cart is an easy, convenient task and one which we all recognize as the correct, appropriate thing to do. To return a shopping cart is objectively right. There are no situations other than dire emergencies in which a person is not able to return the cart. Also, it's not illegal to abandon your shopping cart. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do the right thing without being forced to do so. No one will punish you for not returning the shopping cart. No one will fine or kill you for not returning the shopping cart. You gain nothing by returning the shopping cart. You must return the shopping cart out of the goodness of your heart. You must return the shopping cart because it is the right thing to do, because it is correct. And it goes on to say, a person who's unable to do this is no better than an animal, an absolute savage, who can only be made to do what is right by threatening them with a law and the force that stands behind it. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is a good or bad member of society. So that was the original post. It spun a lot of talk online, made all the, the regular sites where they talk about what's happening of the day. And uh, it's, it's interesting. This, was, this uh, article was funny. This came up, someone was reminded of the alignment chart. This is back uh, Dungeons and Dragons back in middle school, right, where you would be on this chart. Uh, for the record, I've always been chaotic good. I'm one of those, one of those people. But that is the theory that if you want to be able to be a member of society where we don't need to regulate, have it, everything regulated for us, we need to take care of it for ourselves. And the shopping cart is, a, is an example of this. Now, for me, I return the shopping cart. The reason is because I want a functioning society. That's why I return the shopping cart. I could care less what uh, a shopper at Target thinks of me. I'm not going to be bullied into returning the shopping cart. I do it because that's the world I want to live in. That's me. We all have our own reasons uh, for doing things. And I think it's interesting to just kind of reflect and wonder, why do I return the shopping cart? What's forcing me to return the shopping cart? Or why don't I return the shopping cart? Are you one of those people that just finds any excuse not to do the right thing? Scientific American actually did an article on this a couple years ago. Why people don't return their shopping carts. And uh, <laughs> they went into it and found the regular excuses. They found five categories of people. People that always return it. People that never return it. People that return it when it's convenient. People that return it because there's other people around watching them and the people that uh, make it part of a fun thing to do when you have a kid. You know, you unload everything and then you have, you go with the kid and you push the, the cart back, demonstrating to the child how to be a, a member of society, you know, and not be an a-hole. But those are the categories. It was interesting to see Scientific American actually go on and on talking about that. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Do you return the shopping cart? Why do you return the shopping cart? 
And is this really a good example of self-governance? Because I believe, I believe it kind of is. If you're the type of person that can do this, and I think that most people will return the shopping cart. Most people can govern themselves. And all of the issues that we have with uh, regulations and police and all these types of things, that's for the people that don't return their shopping carts. But that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to hit that like button and have an awesome day. Peace. Thank you.